That's like calling a white man. Like, what are oh, that's like no, calling a Mexican a, a, Puerto right, Rican. a Puerto Rican. Don't do that. Uh, aliens is under that too. The, the thing. Okay. Okay. Now the last one is paranormal. All right. And the subs under paranormal is uh, ghosts and spirits, which is Portuguese. The Grudge. Uh, the Blob. Uh, yeah. Goldberg and Patrick <laughs> uh-huh. Swayze. Natalie, and Natalie Johnson Bullock mm-hmm. said The Blob. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> Haunted, you be talking about me Right Haunted house Okay Okay At the Amityville Horror of course Possession That's one P- Okay that's po- Exorcist And uh, uh-huh. Amityville Horror Yeah the right, the, the right Or whatever it's called Devils and Demons And Hell That's uh, the movie The Evil Dead And the one called The Beyond Which is in a cult Coven Black Sunday Okay Supria Suspria, that is. Uh, and last one is Supernatural. Supernatural. Uh, remember Scanners? Oh, know. God, oh, Scanners. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know what? I never saw Scanners. I saw the preview of Scanners, and the preview scared the Freaked heck out me of me. Out. Are you Absolutely. kidding? To see the man's head split open like that, I said, I, I had nightmares uh, for months, man. Mm-hmm. I couldn't okay. do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it was like, those were like super migraines. Sure, sure. So these, these smaller ones, one is called Body Horror, Gothic Horror, Creepy Kid, Horror Romance. Sci-fi horror, okay, and then comedy horror, okay. So these are all of the breakdowns of what what uh, it's still that they're all still up under horror uh, genres, and okay. and it's amazing. So next top model ain't in there. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm telling you. No, you know what's horror? What? Honey Boo Boo is horror. Oh. Well, that's been canceled. So <laughs> yeah, I ain't that's seen that. I'm glad they finally canceled because that was freaking me out. Man. I, like, I had to, I had to bring bring a cross in the house when yeah, horror Red Honey Boo Boo came on. Rednecks going wild. <laughs> well, that's that new show. That boy. Um, anyway. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can't think of his name. So those are breakdowns. Now, why is it, y'all, he that really why is it that we knew oh, most of these? You may not have watched them, but you, but knew, you of them. knew of them because they were spoken of, talked about. Uh-huh. You, you know, as a kid, I would always hear children talking about. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? My my parents wouldn't let me watch horror movies. Number one, okay, because I was the I'd cry, I'd be afraid. At, you know. As a core, I also didn't allow mine to watch horror movies because I just didn't find it entertaining to be made afraid. But today, as a school teacher, I mean, all the time I hear the kids anticipating today, this day, so they can go home after trick or treating and sit up and watch horror movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they find and it they find it to be fun. I'm like, killing people is fun to you. Being afraid is fun. No, well, I don't know what this generation. I know the generation of my first batch of kids. <laughs> 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 I recycle every 10 years Yeah you do wow. Anyway uh, wow. But the, It was a thing of Trying to anticipate Who was gonna They would make bets on Who was gonna get killed Who was gonna get killed first And who was gonna survive Then it was also a game of How to figure out How to get past Whatever the thing may be And then mine would sit around And wait for something to happen And then reach out And touch somebody else To see if they could scare them first <laughs> <laughs> It got beat up man and there we go like Okay here come the music yeah, Gotcha <laughs> <laughs> Okay listen Here's a pecking order here Alright of, of demons If you If you Go to Spreaker And go to uh, uh, The demons uh, Show <clears throat> oh Yeah then you'll see uh, How we Kind of t- Taught that That little class there So I'm gonna give you Just a small bit of it Today So, so, so you, those of you Who are too lazy To go over there <laughs> And check it out Um I give it to you here, but this is this is what y'all call you know when they 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 tell you to read a Shakespearean book. Mm-hmm. You get the of, cliff notes. Yeah, there you go. So mm-hmm. this is the cliff notes. See, you as a teacher, I knew you were gonna get it right away. Yeah, I got a bunch of cliff notes. I yeah. <laughs> well, you got you got what's called Binsfeld's uh, classification of demons. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, Peter Binsfeld prepared a classification of demons in 1589. His demons classification was based on the seven deadly sins. Okay, uh, Lucifer. Uh, the sin of pride, mammon, the sin of greed, mm. As, uh, Asmodeus, the sin of lust, L- Leviathan, is envy, uh, Beelzebub, is gluttony. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why you laughing, Alvin? Bulb. <laughs> Beelzebub. <laughs> Big bubble. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You uh-huh. bubble demon, you? Yeah, uh, Satan is wrath. 
Uh, and Belvador is sloth. That's you slow people out there. Like you got a Belvador demon in you. Belvador. Okay, now <clears throat> here are some of the. So that's uh, why Mister Belvedere was fat. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, here are listed the demons in in their order. Uh, uh, they got Abaddon. Well, not so much in their order, but they they, they are in um, in the order of uh, uh, their lettering. Oh, uh, alphabet. Yeah. So accuser, adver- uh, adversary, antichrist, mm. awful monster, mm-hmm. chief of demons, deceiver, demon, destroyer, devil, devourer, dragon, enemy of righteousness, evil one, evil spirit, fallen angel, father of lies, father of all lies. Man, it's amazing two you of say them. that, especially since how this is an election season. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of that on TV, right? Wow! Ooh. The Great Antichrist, Great Dragon, Liars from the Beginning, Lucifer, Mammon, Murder See, from the Beginning, Old so Serpent, timely. right? Perdition, Prince of Darkness, Prince of Devils, Prince of Power of the Air, Washington, Prince of this World, Satan, Serpent, Slanderer, Son of Perdition, Son of the Morning, Spoiler, Tempter, Wicked One. Art Lewis, uh, Senator, De- oh. <laughs> Congressman, <laughs> right? So it goes on and on. Mayor, uh, Governor. Yeah, yeah. Now these these are Pastor. we've had we've heard of all of these, right? Yes. Okay. So let me ask you the question: Is it okay for us to summons up or to talk to the dead? Um, there is biblical reference of this event taking place. All right. There's a couple of different uh, Okay I, Help me some, out Some of them are Well, well But I don't the, know If it's alright <laughs> No <laughs> well there's also The one of uh, Where they were saying You know the, Where the uh, Living and the dead Should not mingle mm. But this actually Meant in the physical Oh was, so this was, this In was the physical a, sense This was addressed In the physical So like old the man, man Ain't got no middle No young woman no, I said living in the dead. <laughs> yeah. what? No, that's that what? is like that, 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 that. that's a mixing oh, of the seasons, you oh, know, winter with summer. But then you also have the event where you know Samuel was called up. Yeah, yeah. why don't we go there? First Samuel twenty eight. First Samuel twenty eight. First Samuel twenty eight. Who can make the sun rise? <laughs> yeah. Nah. And um, uh, and go start at verse seven. Alvin, you got the best reading voice on the air. Why don't you do that? First seven twenty eight verse seven. It's it's that it's actually seven through twenty. Uh we got time. First Sammy. Uh huh. First Sammy. Twenty eight verse first Samuel twenty eight verse seven. Mm. Uh, like twenty eight chapter. Twenty eight seven verse seven verse. You'll find these words. Mm-hmm. Saul visits the witch in this area and he ends to begin a discussion by saying Then said Saul unto his servant, Seek me a woman that hath a familiar spirit, that I may go to her and inquire of her. And his servant said to him, Behold, there is a woman that hath a familiar spirit at Endor. And Saul disguised himself and put on other raiment, and he went. That sounds like last night's episode of Scandal. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and he went on with two he men. Went, hold on, hold on, let me see. He went and two men with him, and they came to the woman by the night. And he said, I pray thee. Divide unto me by that familiar spirit. Bring me him who up, whom I shall name unto thee. And the woman said unto him, Behold, thou knowest what Saul hath done, how he hath cut off those that have familiar spirits, and wizards out, out of the land. Wherefore then layest thou a snare for my life, to cause me to die? And Saul sware to her by the Lord, saying, As the Lord liveth, there shall no punishment happen to thee for this thing. Then said the woman, Whom shall I bring unto thee? And he said, Bring me up Samuel. And when the woman saw Samuel, she cried with a loud voice. And the woman spake to Saul, saying, Why hast thou deceived me? For thou art Saul. And the king said unto her, Be not afraid, for what sawest thou? And the woman said unto Saul, I saw God ascending out of the earth. And he said unto her, What form is he of? And she said, An old man cometh up, and he is covered with a mantle. And Saul perceived that it was Samuel, and he stooped his f- with his face to the ground and bowed himself. And Samuel said to Saul, Why hast thou disquieted me to bring me up? And Saul answered, I am sore distressed, for the Philistines make war against me, and God has departed from me, and answers me no more neither by prophets nor by dreams. Therefore I have called thee, that thou mayest make known unto me what shall I do. 
Then Samuel, wherefore then dost ask thou me, seeing the Lord is departed from thee and has become thine enemy? And the Lord hath done to him as he spake for, by me, for the Lord hath rent the kingdom out of thine hand and given it to thy neighbor, even to David. Mm. Now, if that don't make the a wonderful night with your lady or your man, and you want to see something horrible, a horror movie, or you fright night or what have you, why don't you just read that? Okay, that yeah. right now, right there, is not not only a horror, but it's also educational. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> I mean, there's nothing more horrifying than, than you know, like asking the truth and get the truth, and where it's like, you know, yes, God has departed from you. Mm -hmm. And not only has he departed from you He gave what's yours to somebody else And you calling me I'm dead What can I do for you I'm dead I'm dead If God done left you What am I going to do for you <laughs> Now that's a powerful message in that When yeah. you're yeah. so desperate You want help from the dead From the dead yeah, If they could help themselves Why you think they it, Well uh -huh. Well actually uh -huh. he did what? say Basically Why are you disturbing my sleep Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So y'all, y'all, y'all creating new shows here. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm going on <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Will I'll, Tina Turner come on this show? <laughs> no, we got to get her back. We can raise America. Ike from the dead. <laughs> no, <laughs> anime. You do that all by yourself. Anime, anime. <laughs> eat, eat the cake. Uh, so, so Alvin, from yes. what you just read. Uh -huh. What's what is the what is what could be the main message here? Because you know, there's several messages. I, I you could take that story right there and and oh, man, create ten, sermons, ten yes. sermons out of that. Yes, easily. Yeah, yeah. Give me one. <laughs> no. you did, my you, big mouth. Yeah, you well, did it hey, yesterday you with, with the text. With don't ask questions you don't want to answer to. Well, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Even those that divine evil can recognize the anointing and the power of God. Ooh. That's that's the that that's the apple cider. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What's in that apple? Wow, yeah, some cider. <laughs> he getting cider himself. He getting cider <laughs> himself. <laughs> All right. Wow, that was good, man. That's pretty good. To God be the glory. I can take no yeah. credit for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so you saying that the 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 evil one recognized what? The Lord did, as you're saying. Yes, mm -hmm. I mean, and you can cross-reference this even with New Testament because when the when the demoniac man recognized Jesus, yeah, the one who had broken all the chains and nobody could cast devils out, mm -hmm. when he recognized Jesus, he bowed. He didn't even have to tell him to bow. He sure did. He says, "Why are you here tormenting me?" Right, <laughs> right. Like, I ain't done nothing yet, but go right. to them pigs. Right. Yes, he basically says, "It's not my time." Yet. Yes. <clears throat> so the devil understands that he is his time is on is, is limited. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's something. Now, but the, the the here's the thing about that story, though, the witch of Endor situation. How was she able to summon Saul up out of the Samuel, ground? Samuel, I don't know how she did. The Samuel Bible doesn't up. say how she was able. Mm -hmm. This text doesn't reveal right how she was able to. And it's to probably a good him. thing too. Uh, and this is the oh only time in Scripture that this happened, where God allowed something like that to happen. It's the uh -huh. only time. Really? Yeah. I thought you can't find time. nowhere else in scripture where God allowed a a witch to summon up anybody from the from the, from the dead. But the fact that she actually went to it with the confidence that she could do it kind of speaks to the fact that this is something that has happened before. You think? That because it happened then, you think it has happened no, before? I mean, if you like ask her to do it, and then she doesn't go into the whole. Uh, mm. They didn't have piano she didn't wire question her then. ability to do it. She right? She didn't. She, did. she, she questioned, questioned her why. life. She did because, because she knew she, that if Saul found out uh -huh. because of her colleagues in uh -huh. the field, yeah, they were wiped out, ran out, killed. Mm -hmm. Even mm -hmm. she knew her life was in danger. Right. Yes, so she didn't. You know, she didn't. You know, I guess the display of magics. And supernatural powers were not unknown at that particular point in time. In sci-fi, they have or fantasy, they have a theory that runs in the place of sorcery. Techno well, technology has taken the place of sorcery because sorcery is what was needed to move things and do what we normally do today. Well, mm -hmm. like I said, this is a sci-fi theory. Uh, so at that time. You had a lot of people doing this, that, and the other. Even when Moses came back and he met the wizards of Pharaoh. Sure, they did miraculous acts. In fact, you know Moses doing these things didn't really have a big effect. Miracles were not new. No, right? That's true. It that's was true. the source of the miracles that was. That's right. true. That's true. Listen, we gotta go to a break. Um, now maybe we can get that song played finally. I don't know. 
<laughs> Put something here so we can we can get some inspiration and get back to this talk. Who is Natasha she, Miles? I, that, I love that woman. She I just a mess. Got a message out there. Possible spirit. <laughs> she, yeah, she she went there.